Hello, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Welcome to Bitwig Studios Advanced Concepts. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at a way to lively up kind of like your MIDI and audio files and keep them from sounding so sterile. So on the first channel, the MIDI channel here, I have uh, the E-hat. Nothing special, no particular setting. And then I've got a little MIDI clip set here with a little random pattern. Let's hit play on it. And you can hear it's kind of static. You know, there's nothing, there's no life to it. Not a whole lot of movement. One of the ways, of course, you can do that is go ahead and adjust the velocity settings at each little hit here. But also in Bitwig, you have a really, really cool feature over here. And it's called chaos, random chaos. So what you do is you come over and open up by the arrows here, whichever one of these you want to affect. So we're going to affect velocity. I open that up, this box appears. There's really nothing going on. Let's add some chaos. I'm just going to scroll up here. Oh, maybe. Let me click, there we go. Oh, give me a second here. Down maybe. Oh, oh. My mouse doesn't want to play games. Now I'll see what I can do to type it in. All right. There we go. All right. So I've got a little chaos in there, and then the mean is going to give us some movement left and right. Kind of put it in the center, I guess. And you can already see the MIDI notes being affected velocity wise. The spread is just what you think. It's going to be narrow or open it to the stereo field a little wider. You can add more chaos. Or we can kind of take a less your choice, whatever you think of it. You can start to hear already, though, the pattern's getting a little bit better vibe to it. Sounds a little bit more humanized. So let's go down and try pan. Let's get this guy wide open here. Move it a little bit. All right, so we've got velocity, pan, you can do timbre, pressure, you know, different things here. Any of these with the arrow on it, you can add some chaos to it and give it a little bit of variation. Really nice way to kind of liven up your sounds and keep them from sounding too sterile. Now, I've also got an audio file here because you can do the same thing with audio files. So let's take a look at that. All right, so the first thing I did here, let me uh, zoom this guy back. The first thing I did here was I took the knife tool up here and I went in and just kind of cut it up real quick. Give it a bunch of different little cuts. And then what that's going to do is when you select all your audio events that you've cut up, choose if you want pan, pitch, whatever you want to do here. I've got pan set. So we'll come down here and grab the arrow next to pan, and then we've got our little chaos box. So And there you go, a little hi-hat, chaos randomization, and I've got a little baseline here, audio file. Uh, like I said, you can, let me just goof around here and see what we can do by adding some pitch. It might not really sound that great, but it's always fun to experiment. There we go. Pretty cool little vibe. But completely changes the uh, the file. Let me get rid of that hi hat here. So pretty cool. There you go. A little advanced concept, a way to lively lively up your audio files and uh, your MIDI files with random chaos. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.